What is going on YouTube? It's Sankey here and I make videos on the stock market. Guys, I've got a jam-packed one for you today. I know it's the weekend, but you know over here we don't take our eye off the ball because I've got some fresh plays for us to enter, ready for that Monday morning opening bell. And this should help us finish off the year on a high. Now, before I get to it, please check out that link down below. That's Trading212. Two two. Go and grab yourself a free share of stock worth up to $100. Now, let's take a quick check on the portfolio. So up on screen is my YouTube growth portfolio, currently sitting just over £46,000. If you've been rocking with the channel, you know we started this week on 43 and we've added a couple of thousand during the week and we intend to do the same next week. We're going to end this year off on a high. This is why I come on here each and every day to share this journey with you and hopefully get your portfolios from your first 1,000 to 2 or we go from 10 to 20 and eventually then from 50 to 100. Just two weeks ago, I put you guys on some amazing streaming plays and told you how that market is set to grow. Roku is one of those plays. As you can see, my average price is just under $290. Roku is now trading at $341. So big congrats to anyone who jumped in on Roku with me two weeks ago. And then just one week ago, I introduced you to a couple of cyber and internet security plays and told you how that market is set to grow up on screen is CrowdStrike again this is one that we jumped in together my average price is $175 they're now trading at $203 and next week we're jumping into some cloud communication plays starting off with Ring Central ticker symbol RNG this is a powerful business that has all the software for the messaging videos and calls for businesses right and they're set to continually benefit from the trend of remote working guys so let's quickly jump into the share price graph and look at a few things so as we've been doing on this channel each and every day this month i've been giving you guys ways in which you can analyze a share price graph and look at trends this is going to up your game going into 2021 now we're going to look at the simple moving average right so the yellow line is the long-term simple moving average the red line is the short-term simple moving average so when you see the short-term simple moving average which is this red line cross above the long-term simple moving average guys this often indicates a buy signal because this this shows there's upwards momentum in that share price so it's a good signs for ring central right now i'm just going to quickly compare that to zoom right now and as you can see it's the opposite you can see that the short-term simple moving average remember that's the red line is crossing below the long-term simple moving average and this could often mean a sell signal right so guys this is just to up your game going into 2021 so let's take a quick look at ring central's q3 aside from fantastic revenue growth of 30 percent the subscription revenue in the quarter rose 33 percent to 280 million if you've been rocking with this channel you know that i'm a big fan of companies that have that reoccurring business model to them. it's fantastic it, it gives them cash flow protection it means that they don't have to go out and always win new business they're not starting off from a fresh start they have their customer base they're just retaining them and then they're adding more customers right this is a fantastic business model similar to what you saw with the cyber and internet security place now this subscription revenue is set to increase again in q4 to 290 million this is fantastic guys up on screen is the us team collaboration market and this is set to grow 12.7 percent between 2020 and 2027 constant annual growth rate this is fantastic because what it means is it gives ring central a large totable addressable market to win business in this is exactly what we want to see because do remember we're not investing for where the company is today we're investing where the company is going to be in the future and if you take a closer look at the chart the dark section is the cloud space right and that is taking up a larger market share each and every year and that is where ring central is so the signs are looking good for ring central going into the future now lastly i have to highlight the new partnership that ring central has made with vodafone and this is set to materialize in 2021 starting off in the uk and america and then expanding into europe this is going to be huge right this is going to give them a lot of revenue it's going to give them a lot of value and it's going to push that share price up nicely so in terms of where I see Ring Central going, I do see them hitting a $500 share price by the end of next year. I think 2021 is going to be a fantastic year for the business, and I do see them with a lot of upwards momentum in that share price as a result. Now, you've got to remember this is only a $35 billion company, and I do think there's a lot of room to run that up over the next couple of months. In terms of entry point, if you can get in below 385, this is a good deal. But what I'm personally doing is, uh, is I'm buying in on Monday. I have a long time horizon for this investment so I can ride out any fluctuations in that share price in the short term. 
So next up we have Twilio. This is ticker symbol TWLO, another fantastic play for us to jump in on Monday. What these guys do is they provide the software to businesses to help them communicate with their customers across all platforms, whether that's WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, and the rest. So quickly jumping into their Q3, aside from the 52% increase in their revenue, what I really like to see was their dollar net expansion rate of 137%. Guys, this is a signal of how well they're retaining their customers and squeezing out more revenue from those customers by issuing new products, right? So they've increased that from their last quarter. I think their last quarter was about 135%. So they're going in the right direction. I also like to see that increase in their customer base up 21% on the year to now 208,000 users. So when I'm about to jump into play, I'm always looking at the acquisition history of the business, right? I wanna know, are they thinking about the future? Are they gearing up for growth? And Twilio is ticking those boxes for me. So this year they acquired Segment. Now Segment are a customer data provider. And why this is significant is because it now increases Twilio's total addressable market from 17 billion right up to 79 billion. This is huge, right? And this could mean that we could see some serious growth in Twilio's business going into the future. Now Segment have 5,000 customers and what Twilio can do is they can offer their solutions to those 5,000 and remember Twilio has 208,000 and what they can do is offer segments solutions and services to those 208. All right guys it's question of the day time now to avoid butchering your name I'm going to call you M is there any reason why Neo might actually fall I'm all into Neo, but I would like to know the stock decreasing scenario. So thank you very much for sending in this question guys as I always say light up that comment section for me it's always good to hear from you. So I've actually done a video a couple of weeks back talking about the risks associated to NEO. Now, I don't think there are many. Any stock can go down for a number of reasons, right? Which are out of our control completely. What if there's a fire in NEO's factory? The stock is gonna go down, right? But I guess more likely scenarios I've covered before, like I said, and one of them was just the capacity constraints on NEO's business. Right now, we know that they can do 5,000 vehicles per month. We know that they're looking to up that to 7,500 next month, and then they're looking to expand that further as the year progresses, right? But I do think that NEO has got and is starting to get a lot more demand then they have capacity to actually deliver for. So this could be a bit of a constraint on their business going, going into the future, but they have a lot of cash on hand, and I do think they can use that to invest into a, a factory, for example, like their peers, such as Xpeng and Li Auto, and that should be on their ra radar in the near term. Now, also, we're not out of the deep waters of the whole delisting scenario. We know that the regulators, the auditors, are looking for more information from a lot of these Chinese companies and you know once they check their audits and everything is sound and secure then they can give them the green light to stay on the stock exchanges now with every risk there's always a mitigating factor in a case like Nia, I do think the positives greatly outweigh any of the negatives that are associated with the company right I do think they have a fantastic future going forward and one of the biggest overriding factors right one of the biggest driving factors for the forecasted momentum in Neo share price going forward is we have a monumental change in the industry, right? A monumental switch from gas vehicles to electric vehicles. And as I've said on this channel, there are gonna be some heavy hitting winners as a result of this. Anytime we've seen a shift in an industry, there have been massive winners, like the shift from going to a physical store to online, right? We've seen what's happened to Amazon's business. We're going from, you know, the old school phones to the smartphones, we've seen what happens to Apple's business and the modern day winners of a monumental shift in this electric vehicle industry is going to be players like a Neo, like a Tesla, right? That's why on this channel I've said, you know, gear up, buy that dip, ready for the next couple of months and next couple of years because it's really going to pay off in your portfolios. So that brings us to the end of the video. Please hit a like, it really helps the channel out. If you're new, do hit that subscribe button. I post every single day over here. I've got a lot more content coming for you guys over the weekend as we prep ourselves and get ready for the next week. Guys, we are finishing off this year on a high. Do check out all the links down below in the description and I'll catch you guys on the next one.